Hey, what's up everybody? We're road raging with Alan and trying to make it ourselves up get up to Barry. So let's do this. And if you remember at the end of the last video, we found this truck. And we're using the truck to get up to our buddy at Barry, our publicist. And that was a really nice truck. Okay. We're going to draw a Grand Theft Auto up on this one. Nice. Except I don't think they ever use cars like this in Grand Theft Auto. Actually, I think it might. It might have been a few missions. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. Just playing some video games and chilling with you guys. Hold on, Barry, I'm coming. Okay, so that was a call from the good old kidnapper. And let's go rescue Barry from... Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. I'm the master of defense, of defense, and then Chichcock on TV presents. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the only way to beat the curtains is players. Jennifer, we didn't talk about Claire. This is fun. Come on. I'm trying, Barry. Bird, 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 bird is the word. I'm not a fan of curves. There's got to be some kind of light source or something. It's pretty much a cat and mouse game. Or a bird and mouse. There's got to be thousands of crows up there. Oh, uh. Come on, birds.
Oh, like they come in packs. Ah, oh, damn, I was doing so good too. The bird is the word of fear. Bird, 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 bird is the word. Now I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This is a normal. These birds are here. Don't you want to play? Don't you want to... That's why I don't want to play again. Don't you want to want to play again? Don't you wanna wanna flare gun? Don't you wanna wanna flare gun? I gotta make, I gotta find somewhere. Like what's back here? What's back here? What's back here? There's gotta be something back here that I can use. Come on, what the heck am I supposed to do? Other besides beat the birds.
Ayan si Me that long. Took me long enough. Hey, Al. I'm I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Oh, that's cool, bud. I understand. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, Supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Uh oh, writer's block. Let's see what Barry's got. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. I know. See you soon. I don't like this. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to the old Good girl. The taken woman's got her. She's taken. I'm not the little Nixon movie. Uh oh, we're about to go to the trailer park. I don't have to get all my name is Earl. Who knows? Alan Wake. End of episode two. Previously on Alan Wake. Park Ranger. You survived Elder Elderwood National Park. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You know exactly what I said. You ever want to see your wife again? I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote. That's coming true before my eyes. It happened. The way it was on that page is so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I don't want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good. Ransom. I don't like that. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. A writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. And the Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold by that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. 
anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? Interesting. It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Yeah, damn lucky. Yeah, I won't let that one my foot to sleep. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish story. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Did this dude just give me a tour of the trailer park? <clears throat> trailer park, boys, good show. Check it out on Netflix. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. I don't like the look of that. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Oh, what's... Oh. She drugged the coffee. What? Why'd you drug the coffee? She drugged the... on Rose's apartment. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it. But I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. We're getting close, guys. That's a nice bit.
leave the trailer. Why would I? took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First we kill a tree. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? Thank you. Have a nice day. Come back soon. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. What am I supposed to use? What am I supposed to use? Where's my gun and flashlight? The girl stole somebody stole it. Guys, I'm going to end it here on like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. In the next video, we're going to escape the cops. Because we've been wrongfully accused. Uh, yes. So have a good one, guys.